welcome back to my channel how are you doing how are you doing so today i want to be talking about something juicy <laughs> okay i don't want anybody to feel offended by this video we are just all here to learn as i said as you can see i'm also exposing some of the things i'm working on some things when i don't know i just check them online and it helps thank god for youtube thank god for social media it really really helps so now the fourth thing the fourth point because we're talking about five points in this video that if you can incorporate that okay it's going to change a lot of things in your marriage right is i have once done i think no the fourth thing that i want to encourage most wives should do it's learning how to talk <laughs> this particular table all of us on the table you know I used to think that only women who are extroverted have this problem of talking as married people but in the course of being close to couples and being in so many social media platforms that as married groups and all even quiet people trust me when a calm person wants to release the bomb <laughs> it's a woman's thing this talking thing it's not about melancholics phlegmatics sanguines cholerics no it's a woman's thing most of us don't know how to talk to our partners even when god gave the command of men loving their husbands as christ loves it their wives as if christ loves the church it's because of the ego factor most problems or misunderstanding let me not say problems most misunderstandings i've had with my husband is as a result of not knowing how to communicate certain things and that brings a lot of friction and problems in marriages most times we don't even know how to say sorry we don't even know how to say i was wrong we don't even know women we don't even like to admit most times women we don't like to admit that we are at fault and because of that we don't talk right so many problems will be eradicated in most marriages if only we knew how to talk please if your mother was not a yardstick for a good marriage stop going back to your mother for counsel because she's not even going to help that's the truth let us learn to locate the right people the people who can actually speak truth if you know you have the kind of mom who will be like what does your husband think he is and everything just avoid telling her your problems especially when you are in the heat of the problem learn to either just stay quiet about it or you have the right people it could be just one mama in your church or one sister or you know women we are going to break our marriages if we continue talking the way we talk sometimes it's even better to go back to your dad for counsel than to even go to your mom i'm serious about it i'm talking out of experience we have to learn to talk like this ego thing is not a joke if you think it's a joke try talking even to a little boy of a toddler of four years old and five years old and you see the whole ego thing pop up and try talking to a little girl of five years old or six years old and you see how it does she doesn't really mind men are so big on how you make them feel i don't know how to put it i don't even know how to say it but the truth is most men no matter how they deny it their love language is words of affirmation like how you talk to them words of affirmation is not just you're handsome you're looking good it's how you make them feel because how you make them feel has a connection with with their ego right how you make a man feel has a very big connection with his ego until we learn to say the right things we will always have problems some men most times our husbands have refused to eat our meals because of the way we presented it already you don't just say yeah chop the for table no go chop all are you not eating you know <laughs> men are very sensitive us women we don't really mind that's why we can quarrel we can gist we can gossip and all of that and get away with it men are men are not petty like that okay so we have to the fourth point is very important and very crucial if you want to have a happy home if you want to have a happy marriage you have to learn to talk right if not you will be from one whatsapp group to the other one prayer topic one retreat you will and the thing is one thing is most times we don't even when we, we reach out for help we don't say the truth so the people who are trying to help us cannot really help us because we are either lying or we are trying to 
present more of the man's fault than how we cause the problem. That's why sometimes I know feminists will fall on me and say, la, 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 you don't have to be the man and all of that. Most men that got their wives beaten or acted in a certain way or the man went out and spent the night out, I'm not justifying the act. It's If you really want to go into the problem, if there was a hidden camera somewhere, the woman, you know we are petty like that. We are very petty like that. The woman kind of pushed him. Men are not, men act like, like, men are not like us. You may say something and you'll not be able to say it back. Us, when we are frustrated, we want to, you know, we want to hurt him. We want to say, you know, that's why even when we have a problem, we talk in circles. We don't go straight to the point. We will, we will, we will talk about something that happened six months, seven months ago. Then the man is thinking, can you just go straight to the point? Can you just talk about the problem? Can you talk about now? And you are bringing back, you are recalling past events. We have to learn to talk right. We have to learn. If not, our marriages are going to be in problems. It's going to have, you know, and this is the thing. Oh, I need to talk. I need to hit this table. Let me talk about this table. If you are watching this video and you're the kind of woman who you like running to your pastor to solve problems, let me just tell you this. If your husband has not told you, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Stop taking your problems to your pastor. You are you are bringing down his ego to zero it's not even only your pastor stop being the kind of woman who the moment you have a, a small misunderstanding you've already run to your parents you've called family gathering you've done this how do you even want somebody you call your head your king your love your your everything to come and sit in the council of your parents and they're asking him questions why have you not given money for food this is and that for me until the worst come to the worst if not mm, Better go and watch one YouTube video. Better seek counseling from a professional than to be running to your parents, your friends. You see that very parent that your husband is first of all saying that her marriage was not exemplary and then you're taking him there to, 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 to go and be answering questions. He will not be happy. You've bruised, you've, you've made him feel like he's incompetent, you know. And this still comes from learning, like talking right. We have to learn to solve our issues which is the fifth point I'll talk about and the last point that when you understand that it's going to change a lot of things let us learn to talk right it's going to change and make better marriages okay <laughs> okay so now the fifth and the last point that is something that I feel like it's so ignored not only in marriages but in a lot of things Women, we have to learn how to resolve conflicts. That is why we have so many issues with the women, the women world. We don't know how to resolve issues. I don't know. It's, I don't know if it's that we were not raised. You know, we don't know how, and that is why most of our marriages have issues. You can never resolve a problem by acting like. You cannot solve a situation by putting in the same negative energy. It will just worsen the situation. Women, when we have problems, let's be honest, when we have problems, when you have a problem with your fellow woman, what do you do? You snub her, you, you know, you give her attitude, <laughs> you give her attitude, you ignore her, you know, you're now looking for the next best friend. You know that is how we take those things into our marriages women we have to learn to resolve issues men are better at resolving issues we have to it's not about shouting it's not about quarreling it's not about oh let me hurt this person now no this is your husband you are a team it's not if he's broken you're broken and that's that's what we forget whenever we have a problem I'm talking to myself also whenever we have a misunderstanding we always forget that if we are we are together like my husband always tell me you're my wife and you're the only wife i have so we have this thing that you're trying to to drag and be petty about it we need to come to a common ground most times we try to solve the way we solve issues with our female friends we try to bring it to our husbands hello men are not wired like that you know it's no need like there's something i'm i'm learning to avoid you know this thing of babes are you okay i'm okay when i know i'm not okay i'm really really trying and i want to encourage you and i watching that let us learn it's better to say i don't want to talk about it now or i'm not ready for this conversation than to say i'm okay you know when you know very well that you are not okay just let us learn to resolve conflicts. And this point, I know somebody may be watching until this point and the person was expecting to hear things like, like sex, be good in bed, like dress well, perfume and all of that. Those things
things are good. But the thing is, these things we've been having conversations about these things. We have so many sex therapies. We have, you know, sometimes it's not the sex. The sex thing is the end factor. It's the end. If if your man is not feeling good, if the home is not happy, how can you even have a good sex? I think this is the conversations we should be having now. These small things that we ignore that changes everything. Sex is good, but the sex cannot be good if your husband is not feeling worthy. The sex cannot be good if the home is not nice. The sex cannot be good if your home is being managed and taken care of by your nanny. Your nanny is the one cooking your husband's food all the time. You know, it cannot really be good. So we need to talk about these little things before we start talking about the big things or the end things, okay? We have to learn to manage conflicts. Man, you're twisting your face. The man is there. Like some, like, hobby... You know, sometimes if he has his meeting, if he has to go for his work, if he has to do anything, he will go. No matter how you tie your face the whole morning, you're doing breakfast and doing attitude. Men don't do those things. Let us stop thinking that our husbands are our female friends. That, you know, you're hanging your face, you're waiting for him to say, eh, what is it now? How can I help? Why are you frowning? And all of that. Sometimes they care, they'll be like, what is it? And you still say, you're not okay. I'm okay. Babes, is everything okay? I'm fine. And then now the next thing you see him, he's there working or he's ironing, and then you're like, ah, how can I tell this man that I'm not, I'm fine? Because you're saying you're fine, but you're acting as though you're not fine. And he's there ironing, he's dressing. Your heart is, he does not care. No, he cares. It's just that he's not wired like you. He's different from you. So we have to learn to resolve conflict. Sometimes it's the time, the timing. You know, it's like that's why I still bring in the friend thing with our friends. We are like, most of let us solve this issue. You know, talk to me, face me, I face you, kind of. With men, sometimes they don't even want to talk. So you have situations where you'll be like babes can we have this conversation and he's like i'm not ready for it because he knows that you when you're angry the kind of things that comes out he's avoiding that scenario but you are just like no let us talk about it now the moment he said i don't want to talk about it you think he doesn't love you he loves you he even loves you enough to be able to read you from the beginning to the end so you are so caught up in the emotion that you don't even think about that but he's thinking about that most women don't know how to resolve conflict. The new one now is you have a small problem with your husband, you're posting it on your statues. Is he stupid? <laughs> is this man stupid? He can read. Like, why would you have a small disagreement uh, um, disagreement with your husband and you're gonna be putting on your statues? Men are scum. Who is a scum? Your husband, your king, your hobby, your the love of your life, your 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 favorite love story. You want to put on your status, men are scum. Only that day that people had a small misunderstanding. Like women, we are so childish, we are so petty, you know. It doesn't help your marriage. We have to learn to communicate at the right time, to know what to say, how to say. All these things are the little things that make a home or ma a home. Let us learn to know what to say, how to say. You cannot see that that friend of yours that your husband doesn't like. The day people have a problem, you're talking on the phone. We had that day, you're laughing. <laughs> Can you imagine? I say you're calling the name, and you know very well that this man does not like this friend. According to you, according to you, you're trying to make him jealous. You're not helping the situation because he's just thinking. If we're having a little misunderstanding and she's behaving like that, then the day we're going to have a big one, what will she do? okay so this is what i wanted to talk about it's good like i don't encourage people bottling up their problems and and and, and dying in silence i encourage people seeking help and all of that but there are some things that if we are conscious about we can change and make a difference we can change a whole lot of things in our marriages this is what this episode is all about today that maybe if we are more present if we take leadership and ownership of our homes, if we solve issues rightly, then we will not have so many problems that we have in our marriages. Then we will have better sex. Then we'll have, you know, because these little things cut across finances, it cuts across a lot of things. You cannot be like, let me just go back to the taking leadership and ownership, right? Some women, when their husbands give them money for food, they just take the money and they just dump it into the hands of their nanny. And now the nanny has taken, this is maybe an 18 year old girl who does not even have mastery about her own personal life. She now, let's just say the money is 50,000 francs. How much is that in dollars? I don't know, I'll convert and put on the screen. 50,000 francs a month. You give it now to your nanny. Your nanny now takes the 50,000, goes and buy things for two weeks, right? It's in the, she puts, she stocks the house for two weeks. Your husband knows in his mind that he has given money for food for a month. 
Now, the third week, there's no food. You cannot also own up that it's because the nanny failed. You're angry with your nanny, your husband is angry with you. There is no food, you don't have money. This man is expecting that at least the money he gave you was supposed to last a month. Now the children don't have breakfast, now there's no food, or maybe you're just cooking some very boring meals. And this man are wise, so when he gives you money, he has expectations. When a man gives, don't think that he's a fool. Because you are not taking leadership. You have to check. It's, I delegate a lot. I'm a very big advocate for women should learn to delegate, women should learn to rest. So don't even think that I'm the, I'm the old school kind of you don't need a nanny. But what I'm saying is you should be handy. You make a list. This is what we are going to You come up with your meal plans. This is what we are going to eat for the week. This is what we eat for week one, week two, week three. You know, with that, even at work, you know that on Tuesday, my husband will have this for lunch. If you're so busy, because women are working now a lot, you know. Don't just... Now she has taken it, she has gone and bought just... And then now the whole house is in the whole chaos. Your husband is pulling his face. He's angry that he's working so hard, you know. Let us learn to incorporate these things so that we can have better and loving marriages. I hope that this series you were able, this particular, I hope that this particular episode you were able to learn a thing or two from this episode. If there are any, if there is anything that I've not said that you feel like it's important that married women can work on, drop it in the comment section. And if this is a, if you will, if this is a series, if you want me to do a wife series, right? that I'll be spilling all the tea and giving all the juice from a very realistic point of view just drop it in the comment section it's something I'm going to think about it's something I'm going to work on and it's something I'm definitely going to deliver okay until next time my name is Brenda I am so humble talking to you all today thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for commenting until next time and please do not forget happy wives make happy marriages. Bye-bye.